This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents, ladies and gentlemen, we have an awesome new ice and hoax. Now I ask you to come for the hoax and stay for the jokes. Now I'm not going to take this one too seriously because it's pretty clear that this is a hoax. It's fake. But considering that NASA or professional astronomers have not given us any new photos, apparently all their outer space telescopes are broken, their big expensive ground-based telescopes are broken, and they are working on something way more important than ISA. And that is why they have not given us a new photograph in almost five months. You know, and it would be my guess at this point that we will probably not see any official data until after we can spot ISA with our own eyes. I'm telling you, this story just keeps getting weirder, especially when you have the hoaxers, the charlatans, putting and more effort in putting out a much higher quality product than the professionals you know it's just a sign of the times i guess and, and i'm not picking on professionals you know like if a, if a pro football team goes oh and 16 you don't want to make fun of those guys i'm sure they feel bad enough already although like i always say that they're like hey yeah but we're still cashing checks well i want to remind you guys you're usually part of the government so sometimes government gets to cash checks for doing nothing or worse. So it's all good. Anyway, we're looking at this thing. They say it came from an official Chinese satellite, though that satellite would have to be pretty close, I would think. I don't know. And it looks like it's got two of the asteroid 1998 QE2 moons with it. Um, once again, I want to compliment these hoaxers for the time and effort. Animating things is not easy. I mean, even though it's not as hard as drawing single frames back in the day like they did with Disney, still, Doing quality animations these days is not easy by any stretch of the imagination. So whoever is doing this is putting a lot of time and effort in. So I don't know if it's Mossad, CIA, KGB, NWO, some talented 13 year old in his basement. Although I don't know why people always say basements because most of America does not have basements. Like I don't know anybody in Texas that has a basement. So everybody always makes basement jokes, but basements are a thing of the past or up north. You know what I'm saying? So. Overall, I do appreciate the hoaxers. I mean, at least they're giving us something, right? And then we gotta give credit to Gary Allen again, the amateur astronomer who has been dominating the icing photographs. And no, 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 this is not an official Common Ice and C2012 S1 WTF NASA Earth episode. Dirty 30 is coming out this weekend. And um, I wanna let everybody know now that the rule is on Dirty 30, you had to have watched one icing episode before you can watch Dirty 30 because the Dirty 30 is a celebration of all the work, effort, and studies that we have all put into this together as a team. So the Dirty 30 is going to be more like a, a wake slash party celebrating A, we're still alive, B, the story is crazier than ever, and C, holy shit, I have no idea what's coming next. So at this point, it feels like serious, giant distraction. Common Ice might be the giant distraction. The big question is, what are they distracting us from? I always guess economics, but maybe it's something bigger than that. But what could be bigger than money? Money is the lifeblood of the world. Money and war, the two things that modern society refuses to live without. Now, I definitely think you could live with money and, and still have a decent society, but I think if we gave up our overall addiction to war and people just stopped fighting, the world would be a much better place. And there's really no need for war other than to keep the people in power who are already in power or have always been in power, and they're way more addicted to power than like young kids used to be to Yu-Gi-Oh! or Pokemon. I even say that people in power are way more addicted to power than guys are addicted to boobs. And that's saying a lot, because boobs have an effect on mental gravity and no man, woman, child, science, or monolith can explain. All right, I've talked too long, said too little, I better go. Just trying to get revved up. Coming up next is Don Quixote. I'm probably gonna overwrite that one. All right, there you go. A hoax for me and a hoax for you. Man, hoaxes are fun. It always goes back to like Peter Brady when he hoaxed his neighbors into thinking it was a UFO. Man, I learned right then, trust no one. Damn you, Peter Brady. To come for the hoax and stay for the jokes. God bless everyone.